Alrighty, what's happening everybody? Hope we're all having a good weekend. I know I am so far. And yeah, welcome into our weekly Planet Zoo community showcase there. So yeah, again, hopefully we're all having a good weekend, good Saturday there. And yeah, settle back in and relax because we have a bunch of fun stuff to uh, go over today. A bunch of mods. Actually, actually, mods have kind of dominated the last few weeks of the community showcase there. But you know what? I'm going to give it to Blueprints. I'm definitely, I'm looking here, through here. You know, yeah, I'm going to give it to Blueprints. I'm going to call this the, the Blueprint comeback there. Because, uh, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of really, really awesome uh, rope climbing, like modular climbing stuff, a bunch of like Hobbiton inspired things, some trucks, some shaders, some Indonesian build. There's a bunch of really cool stuff there for uh, blueprints. So the the blueprint people have heard the challenge and responded, basically. So <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome, everyone. How are we doing? Uh, let's go ahead and not waste too much time. I see everyone there in chat. Hello. 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 There we go. I think I nailed all the hellos, right? So cool. Let's go ahead and jump in. Make sure I switch the screen over. I haven't done this in about a week. Uh, I started a new job this week, so I've streamed all week. So I got to make sure I remember how to do this. There. there we go. We're all good. So cool. Let's go ahead and jump on into it there. So we are going to start with what the thumbnail was. And that's going to be Hobbiton from Christina. So hopefully um, Christina can join us there. Awesome community member usually joins us in stream. Uh, at some point there but yes they have been working on an amazing uh creation here amazing zoo uh with uh hobbiton so yeah hobbiton from lord of the rings inspired you know if you've seen lord of the rings where frodo sam and all them were from hobbiton so let's go ahead and head down the wagon trail here as we head on into hobbiton here and what do we have here is it a, is it a is it smeagol no it's not it's a bear there's a bear there's a bear loose in Hobbiton. Everyone, look out. <laughs> look out there. I'm really excited too. Yes, I'm really, really excited there. But so let's go ahead and keep heading on down the trail here. I feel like we're uh, Gandalf. We should be in a cart with a bunch of fireworks in it right now. As we're coming on over here. I like doing it from first per uh, first person mode here. We'll we'll look at the whole project overhead because it's quite impressive what uh, they have pulled off here. But it's really fun to kind of walk in here in first person mode there. So uh, yeah, let's head on into Hobbiton. Hobbits. <laughs> As we come up here, we start to see the first few structures uh, that we have, which is the water mill. We have a big old water mill. This is a blueprint piece, and so is this cart over here. So this is a workshop item that we're gonna look at later that you can download, but nice little, uh, let's see here, Lefe Blonde Ale, some nice big old barrel of ale there. I'd be all over that. Here we go, nice big water wheel. This is another structure that you can put into your zoos that we'll be looking at later on as well. But yeah, this is a um, standalone workshop item there. Yeah, the terraforming, right? Yeah, it can't be uh, undenied there. The terraforming is amazing. The way they got the rolling hills and everything. Uh, but look at that. That's awesome. Love the vibes there. Um, let's see. Here we have the stone bridge. Again, this is also going to be looked at later as a workshop item that you can put into your zoos. I love that um, they took so many little items that they made out of this uh, build there that are really, really useful for uh, everyone's zoos and everything. So yeah, all three items right there. Bam, bam, bam. All three of those will be able to be used in uh, your zoos and everything there. But yeah, love this scene there just the vibes are amazing aren't they i wish i could play the lord of the rings music <laughs> but if i were to play that the stream would be shut down faster than you can say hobbits <laughs> uh come on up here to our first little like uh it's almost like a marketplace right love the vibes here they stole the precious that's right those filthy hobbits <laughs> uh, i love lord of the rings we just got done uh, watching what all three lord of the rings for our little uh, movie watch series there so uh, a little bit ago let's go to the you know what you know I'll go to the left we'll go to the left looks more interesting to the left right looks like a like an apple tree field there come on down here another like a cornfield oh there's something in there too can't, can't forget this is a zoo so there are uh let's see there should be habitats going on there uh, hey uh, rodney is updated cool i was wondering if the commands were updated or not there silver fox but looks good uh but look we have the uh wildebeest in there right not wildebeest what do they call these african buffalo <laughs> wildebeest <laughs> uh, we have the african buffalo running through the field so awesome. i love that they incorporated this with an actual zoo right actually getting some uh, animals in there and everything. Let's keep going down our trail here. 
Love the uh, rock work as you come through here. I definitely did a little sneaking uh, beforehand, so this is not all a surprise to me. I definitely, uh, yeah, I have downloaded this about a week ago, I think. I, I played in this last weekend uh, originally, so uh, it's kind of a revisit, but it's still just amazing looking. Looking good, good, yeah. And here we are in the official Hobbiton there. So welcome on in. There's the cart full of fireworks like I was talking about. So Gandalf is around here somewhere. He left his cart out here. What's the name of the horse? What's Gandalf's horse name? Or is that not um, right here? I'm trying to remember. Uh, doesn't he have a specific name for his horse that it's like all important and stuff? <laughs> I remember reading like The Hobbit back in like middle school and part of Lord of the Rings in high school. And then I watched the movies and that's about the extent of my uh, Lord of the Rings lore and everything there. But look at these little houses. Look at the little nooks in there. This looks so good. I love that view you get when you come into Hobbiton here. Uh, if you notice, there's nice, someone was uh, mentioning the train work earlier. Even at uh, guest view here, look, you come in, you get these big rolling hills and everything. Looks amazing. Let's keep going. Oh, look, there's, <laughs> there's a bunch of doll sheep here. So you have your uh, doll sheep habitat. Now, some of these, I don't remember which one it is, but some of these have interiors as well. Let me just double check. I think they're up on the hillside uh, there. Yeah, no, it's not this, this one. So, uh, but yeah, some of these have interiors. Down this way, just more little hobbit holes. Love all the details out of them. There's so many great details. Y'all definitely need to download this and give it a like, a favorite, all that fun stuff. Because, yeah, again, there's just so many fun little things here. Do, do, do. A fell beast mod. Oh, there you go. Yeah, well, um, who was it? Was it Lion Rider? And, uh, yeah, Lion Rider and a few others were doing some kind of uh, out there... Uh, kind of mods for like uh, mythical beasts and stuff. So yeah, you know, maybe they get back into that once they cover all the uh, real, real animals. <laughs> Look at that. I love the well here. Well, well, well. Hmm. Holes are good holes. Trust me, I know my holes. Uh, some call me a connoisseur of holes. You are the whole man. <laughs> you are the holy man. I'm coming out here to another lake. I love all the docks. I love all the little docks here as you come around. Just all these big vistas. Oh, look at <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. There's uh, otters in there. Oh, perfect. The classic Hobbiton otters. Is that the name of the baseball team? Or the, like, the, some sort of team here? The, the Hobbiton otters. You've actually been to the real Hobbiton in uh, New Zealand. Oh, cool. Yeah. Has anyone else been to the real one in New Zealand where you can tour around and walk around, you know, quote unquote, real Hobbiton and stuff? Wow, this is so cool. Another hole there. Holy cow. Oh, uh, look at the laundry hanging out. <laughs> the hotters. There you go. Nailed it, Harry. Nailed it. <laughs> I love how each one is like uh, individual, right? No, there's not, hasn't been like a lot of copying and pasting going on as far as like their front yards or even like the design. Each one is unique as if so, like, you know, each one has uh, someone living in it essentially. Oh, I haven't been checking the interior bits. Again, I think they're... Yeah, it's not this one. I think the interior ones are up top here. Do, 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 do. The party tree. Yeah, we're going to go down to the party tree. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, let's head down to the party there. So here you go. Here's the big... Uh, who is it? The Baggins birthday bash. Let's see all the details in here. Holy guacamole. So one of these, let's yeah, let's go down here and see all the food. Love the shades here and everything, right? Definitely has that party vibe going. We should look at this at nighttime too. I'll look at this uh, at nighttime right after. Right after this, maybe the whole thing. We'll look at the whole thing at nighttime because there's probably a bunch of little uh, details everywhere. Oh wow, yeah, right. This is great. Yeah, there we go. Happy birthday, Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> oh, it's great. Look at all the gifts and everything. Holy guacamole. Yeah, so much detail. Almost a one-to-one -one cre uh, recreation. Almost, right? Yeah, they definitely took a lot of inspiration from the movies and the books and everything. Uh, yeah, exactly, Leafy. So much detail. Just everywhere you look, there's just some more detail here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I remember Christina was saying that uh, they hope they never have to make another circle item again. And if you can, uh, if you as you're looking around here, just all the different circular items that they had to make. They, yeah, I remember they saying that. I never want to make a circular item again. <laughs> Another some more details down in here. So wow, look at that. That's cool. All right, let's uh, head away from the party. Everyone get a drink. Everyone have a, uh, a little bit of ale there. 
Let's head up the uh, the hillside there. And speaking of the circles, so here you see some more of the circles everywhere, right? <laughs> so when we go up to the interior, that's where it's really going to get uh, intense with the circles and everything. Let's head up here. Look at all the edging. All the individual rocks placed on the uh, border. Oh, I missed something over here. Hold on. Hold up. Come back down. Hold up. Oh, look at this. It's a bee. Um, it's like a bee farm. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard, Leaf. Stop them. <laughs> the hobbiters. This is crazy. Yeah, I love. What did they use for all the. Uh, oh, they built them individually out of uh, the wood beams. But now, what did they use for, like, the, the cones here and everything? So, bamboo and then just some. Like, what is this piece? Tell me what you are! Oh, it's just a primitive hemisphere. Yeah. What's up, Lionheart? Yeah, the terraforming. Yes. That's what a lot of people have noted. The terraforming. They get those really smooth hills. Really nice. Real, real nice. What else is in here? Is it, like, rope? Classic flower bit. Oh, that's so clever! That's so heckin' clever! <laughs> nice, alright, let's keep heading back up. That that uh, bee farm kind of took me by surprise. Uh, where were we? Right over here. Perfect. Alright, so I believe, yes, I can see the interiors here. So let's head on in. Oh, you know what? I haven't even noted. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a mod right, <laughs> right here. I think this is the temperate reskin mod from Sawdust, if I remember right. Um, so yeah, that's a mod that we're going to be looking at in Sawdust Zoo later, the Myrtle Aquarium or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think you can see a little bit here with the, uh, the temperate reskin there. I think it looks really good with the kind of almost gravel look for the reskin mod. Uh, but let's head on in here. No admittance except on party business. How the heck did you make this font? Is this like an endgame font that we have? Admi oh, oh, it's a billboard. I was about to say funk man <laughs> it's a billboard so um awesome let's head on in to the interior here of the Bagginses. <laughs> the temperate reskin fits it does fit i didn't even really notice that it was a the, the temperate reskin mod was in there because it fits perfectly with the um Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, it fits perfectly with the like gravel feel and everything. So, but let's head on in. We are here on official party business for sure. And here we are. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't look at this part when I was doing the little sneaky bits beforehand, but oh my god. It, oh. <laughs> it's just, it feels exactly like. Hold on. I was looking at nighttime. It's a bit. Oh! There it is. There it is. That, the lighting is, okay, admire that real quick because I need to text my wife back. She, <laughs> uh, one second. Okay, there we go. I had to remind my wife that we had money on a credit card. Okay. <laughs> so this is... This is Sims 4, not Planet Zoo, right? Yes, exactly. The ridiculousness level is off the... So this is where, if you look very carefully, this is where Christina was saying, like, hey, there's Christina right there. Uh, this is where Christina was saying that they never want to do circular items again in the game. But look at each... This is all um, New World signs in a circle manner look at look at look at look at, look at. <laughs> so yeah the entire thing is just a giant circular mess or not mess but you know like it would have been a mess uh, putting it together but holy cow <laughs> just can't get over all the look at the detail here with the sword but i'm streaming with the guy i know right but if it did it directly affect me like because she was like I, i'm trying to get food but there's no money on that like try to do the other credit card <laughs> you took the credit card with no money do the other credit card with money <laughs> yes oh my exactly does everyone get in there oh my god <laughs> just what custom chair just, just yeah everywhere just everywhere you look it's just like whoa whoa 
Hey, holy cow, books. <laughs> Nooks and crannies everywhere. You're in the middle of a forest right now and can't watch the stream, unfortunately. We wanted to say hi. Well, hello to you and all the woodland creatures. And everyone is enjoying the... Well, look at the roof! Oh, funk, man. See, you could have just easily, like, left it all, like, you know, just playing like that and it would have looked amazing. But then you just, like, th th this happened. Do -do 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 look at all the little cupboards, dishes, these little doors that, you know... I don't think they go any. Oh, they do. They actually kind of a little bit kind of go in the back there. <laughs> the fireplace. Holy cow. I love credit cards. Instead of a fake persona and just get free money. Nobody hears what the feds, right? Yeah, right. You just keep making you know, like, hi, I'm Jane Dickerson. I need another credit card, please. <laughs> oh, Tom Ford. <laughs> uh, hey, Savannah. I know. Isn't this just I just, oh, bleh. you know, it's just like, bleh. <laughs> The amount of pausing and analyzing the movie was probably ridiculous. Even like some of this bit, these bits don't even look like they were part of the movie. You know, you probably had to use a bit of maybe uh, Google Images. Maybe there's like some fan art up or something. But look at this really clever use of uh, billboards and good use of using the 3D objects with the billboard as well. You'll see a lot of times people will, you know, it doesn't look terrible, but a lot of people will just put like the billboard on a flat wall and be like, aquarium. And it's like, well, almost, but uh, Christina showed right here how it really to make it uh, work well. Um, if you put a 3D object, you know, build an actual 3D object with the in-game uh, build pieces, then put the billboard behind it. Oh, it makes it look so much better. It looks a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is, like lived in or it just, yeah, it doesn't look just uh, slapped on the wall, right? So yeah, really amazing. Really, really amazing. I'm glad we're doing this at, at, uh, at nighttime, too. <laughs> the lighting in it is perfect, right? Hey, what's up, Sawdust? We were just talking about your uh, temperate reskin mod and how it fits in perfectly with this Hobbiton build. We'll show you when we head, uh, head on outside there. Seriously, I quit. I'm done. There's, I think a few people have decided they are done playing Planet Zoo at least for a little bit there. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. No, instead of that, you gotta take inspiration, right? Okay, so we gotta suspend disbelief. Wait, let me, uh, this is another good use of billboards. Look at this. That's a billboard right there. That's a billboard covered again using 3D object in game. So that's the glass house wall rounded? What are you? Oh, 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 I forgot about this. That was like three O's. That was like three, like, <laughs> what a clever use of this piece. And I'm going to like totally try and use that more often as, uh, as that. That's really, really clever. Uh, but anyways, there's a billboard behind that of a view of, she took a screenshot. Look at, took an actual screenshot of the area, like in game, you know? Like, because where, where does this actually face out? It kind of faces out here, but they had to cover it up, right? They had to cover it up, but the window matches. It matches exactly where the window would be looking out, right? <laughs> That's so good. That's really clever. I'm going to turn the lights back down because uh, I love the ambience that it gives off. But that is so stinking clever. Again, hopefully people are just getting good ideas, right? Instead of getting defeated. Let's get, let's, what is this sword made out of? The screen mount wall piece, which should be in everyone's favorites. That's a great piece to have. And also, yep, the new world fence. Just kind of slightly angled. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Damn, yeah, right? Damn, girl. <laughs> and down this way, I think this was the entranceway or one of the, oh. Oh, I love how this one looks. I don't know why this, it just looks different. It's more uh, rugged. There's not the uh, plaster on it. it. Just looks more rugged as you get on this way. Is there an uh, opening? Where are we? Oh, then it boosts back out that way. Now, which, where did we come out? Okay, so we did. We came out the very end and we started uh, here. So I think, yeah, we went through the whole thing there. I think we went through the whole thing. Just to make sure. Yep, we went in here, went in here. And over here, we did go up here. Yes, we did. It eventually circled around to here. We this uh, circles back to the entrance. We love the trees. Didn't even note that, but the trees or roots uh, running through it uh, makes it you know remind you that you're in the in a hillside there. 
Yep, we went through there. Is there something through here? I don't think so. Nope, we boop out to the nether. <laughs> uh, we went through here, that boops out. Yeah, so I think we got it all there. Cool, let's boop out of the hill. Oh, look at this. Here's a nice behind the scenes. So if you want to see what it looks like up and above, here you go. That's kind of fun. Let me turn the lights on. Lights on. Clap on. This is cool. So I always recommend picking apart people's builds, especially if you're awe inspired by them. Pick up, pick a, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick apart people's builds. There we go. Gosh, say that ten times fast. <laughs> pick apart people's builds. Pick apart people's builds. Uh, but yeah, pick it apart and see what they did there. So this is really cool. Look at the entrance door from the inside. Definitely. Definitely. And you know, this is an easier way to see where the entrance door is. Right over here. <laughs> uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I've seen, uh, I see, uh, ooh, I've seen your screenshots from this. I love looking at it with the lighting, though. Look at that. I'm going to turn on uh, this real quick. Nope, that doesn't really work. Look at the detail now. We'll turn on the lights. Get to look at the full details there. Hit F4. That no, doesn't really work. Look at that. And again, we're going to pick it apart so y'all can see what, what we're dealing with here. So yeah, again, look. The New World Decorative Lights. I can't tell you how many times we see builds that are amazing looking that use these bracket pieces here. But yeah, the New World Decorative Light Bracket is such a handy piece. The interior took a month at least. Dang. Hot dang. Uh, that's amazing. So wow, congrats on that uh, alone. You know, that, that bit right there. Uh, but let's continue on because we still have a whole uh, exterior bit kind of going on still. Holy cow, look at the windmill. <laughs> let's keep going down this way. Hello, goodbye. Now we need the modders to mod in hobbits. <laughs> I don't know how they would, but we need little hobbits is running around here. <laughs> nice, let's go over to the windmill because that's definitely drawing my attention. Oh, look at the field and everything. This is really well done. Love that tower. Love that joker. And the fell beast, yes, and the fell beast, exactly. Wow, look at the... Um, Wait, it angles up and everything there, all made out of individual stone pieces. See, the, uh, what is it? Oh, the aquatic faux rock. All individual stones there. And what'd you do to get the windmill here part? Look at that roof. Amazing details on the roof. Using the arctic windows. They're straight up just using the arctic windows. And then here we have the climbable log one meter thin. Which piece is this? Is it recolorable? It's not. Wait. What the hell piece is this? <laughs> oh, 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 it's in Habitat. Oh, that's clever. That's awesome. Yeah, the terrain work, exactly. Yeah, the terrain work and the details, just like, oh. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Let's continue on the trail here. Look at the little hut out here. Yeah, from the habitat uh, tab. Yeah, I, I always forget. That is why I'm really bad at that, at remembering the habitat tab. The habitat tab. Oh, uh, look at this uh, little storage to uh, use for building stuff. All the little storage building, especially right here, all the... It, it flows really nicely. Holy cow. Did I mention that I quit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, speaking of sawdust, uh, again, love the temperate reskin mod through here. A little bit of gravel mixed in with the dirt and everything. It looks really good. Flying over top here. Oh, we're getting back to the beginning there. And we are back. Yeah, we're back to the beginning. Cool. The half beater for yeah, I, I should have noted that. Yeah, here's what they used to. Uh, here's what she used to uh, do it. The Australia plank half meter pieces, the uh, non-colorable one, the non-flexi. But still, I I've, I was uh, talking about that the other day that some of the in-game non-flexi color things that we got, like the Australia pack and uh, some of the classic wood pieces, uh, they look really good even though they're not flexi colors still. So uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, exactly, BZ. What's up, buddy? How we doing? Um, but let's take a big look here. Here is the overhead view of Hobbiton. 
There you go. And I, you know, I kind of skipped over the animals a little bit. I probably missed some. I tried to note them as we saw them. So there might've been a few other uh, habitats along the way. I love this little, uh, what is this little pond? Yeah, this little chill pond right there. Um, so there might've been other habitats, but uh, actually, you know what? I forgot, I can check that real easy, can't I? Uh, so we saw that, we saw, oh, we didn't see the warthogs. Where are the warties? Oh, look at it. they have a little pig pen up here. And they're all bibbies. It looks like they are. They're all bibbies. <laughs> so that's awesome. Now you can put the little, the actual pigs in there. Thank you for Christina for trying to stop by as much as you could. Appreciate your insight to the uh, build there. And uh, yeah, uh, when you watch back later, you hopefully see how everyone loves your build there. Cool. So we saw the warties there. Let's see, saw the goats, saw the bears when we first come in and saw the otters. Okay, so we did see all them. Nice, so. Well, hey, what's up, Earl? How are we doing, buddy? Uh, but cool, there you go. I'm sure I did miss a few details, so you all know the drill. Be sure to download this. Like, look at this little creek bed as we're, this little creek bed as we're coming in. All the details right there, even. Download this, favorite it, comment on it, like it. That always helps out the creator's uh, builds on the Steam Workshop and everything like that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on out of here, even though I could totally hang out here with a with a pint of ale <laughs> uh, pretty much all day. But yeah, we have a bunch of other fun stuff to go there. So awesome stuff there from Christina. Yeah. Yeah, at least Pig Mod would look really great. Yes. Yep, I agree. So... But you guys can go ahead and uh, jump in and replace the warties with the pig mod or any other things. You could totally build on it too, right? Challenge. Build on to Hobbiton. Add on to the uh, add on to the uh, land there. Very good stuff. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and keep on with the zoos there. We're gonna go to Dolzen Zoo 2.0, right? We have that this week. Oh, you know what? No, we did that last week, didn't we? No, we did that last week. Uh, we're gonna do Hakuta Zoo. There we go. That's I knew there was one of them that was like that. Hakuta Zoo from Haku. So we've been looking at uh, Hakuta Zoo from Haku for a little bit now. Uh, what we did like two or three phases from it, I believe. I think it was three phases. Uh, but it's finally done. So Haku has uploaded the entire zoo here. So this is a full zoo tour. Now we will do a little bit of a abridged version of it, just because we have been keeping up with the build uh, pretty much since the start of it, I believe. Uh, so yeah, but no, this is a really big accomplishment for any builder in the game, no matter the size of the zoo or project or whatever, to uh, finish it out. So I'm really, really excited to see um, how it finishes out there. And again, uh, we did finish or look at this zoo in different phases, so we won't look at everything if we've looked at it in the past. Uh, so be sure to either jump back to past Community Showcase episodes or just download the zoo yourself and take a look at all the fun stuff there. So knowing Haku, this might take a little bit of time to load in because Haku is the foliage sensei, or is a foliage sensei. So they can do what Estan can do with props and building pieces and basically throw any and all uh, foliage at the scenery landscape. And it'll usually come out looking really good. So I, I imagine that there's a lot of really great foliage in this. So hey, what's up, Dan Creates? Speaking of Dan Creates, Dan Creates did an awesome job with Hobbiton, if y'all didn't know. Uh, taking some pictures for Christina to use for the Steam Workshop. Uh, Christina gave a good shout out to Dan Creates and other creators uh, on the Steam page for Hobbiton, but I wanted to give that little shout out that, yeah, Dan Creates was doing some, or giving some help to Christina there for Hobbiton, taking some nice pictures there. <laughs> nice Jurassic. That was last week. Next week, I'll, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I forgot to unsubscribe from it. And see, that's why I had someone uh, message me like, "Why do you unsubscribe from people's uh, projects after you view them or zoos or whatever?" You know, doesn't that hurt the uh, the algorithm? It's like it might like a little bit, but like I have to, I have to unsubscribe from people's stuff or I get confused because you gotta remember every week. What I, we have one, two, three, four, five zoos this week. Last week we had five or six zoos. It's usually about five or six zoos, four or five zoos that we look, you know, that starts to really add up. I have to do the same thing with blueprint workshop items too. Um, <clears throat> after a little bit, my workshop page just become ridiculously long. So I have to go through and kind of clean house every once in a while. It's no offense to any creators. It's always, you know, awesome stuff. But if I'm not actively using it in a, uh, in a build or a zoo or whatever, it's like, oh my gosh, my workshop uh, page has become, you know, the size of a long book. I can't think of a long book. I don't know. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> One of the Harry, the last Harry Potter book. 
I feel like those books, like every time that a new book for Harry Potter came out, they added on like a, like a whole thousand pages or something like that. <clears throat> By the time I got to the fourth book, I was like, oh my god, I can't read this. It's gonna take me three years. Do, 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 do. This definitely take a little bit longer to load in, so there's a bunch of awesome foliage there. Can't wait to see what's going on there. Yeah, uh, Haku found the uh, is fond of the underwater hydrilla plant. Yeah, it's probably spammed everywhere, right? Yep. Hey, there it goes. There it goes. Just new workshop items. Often it's like five to six people. Then after the show, it's like 100 to 300 sign up. Oh, there you go. Good. I'm glad that uh, the. Oh, oh, the frames. We're getting Thornton Hill Zoo frames here. <laughs> oh, we might pause it just for a hot second. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that the, uh, the showcase can give a bump to some creators there and everything. That's uh, definitely the plan, Stein. Cool, let's go ahead and start the beginning there, which is right around here. And you know, off the top of my head, this isn't uh, ringing a bell, so we might look at a lot of this zoo there, so. I deleted all my other subscriptions, now I need blueprints that I uh, unsub from. Oh yeah, I've, I've done that before, you're kind of cleaning house, and then you're like, oops, I cleaned too much house. <laughs> uh, well, don't forget, Leaf, check the community showcase tab on the Discord. <laughs> and I always forget to promote that. I always promote it as just people to uh, put their stuff on there. But yeah, it's basically a little uh, library, a little collection uh, database of amazing workshop items. Uh, there, if you go onto the Discord, the community showcase tab, yeah, it's not just for submitting. You guys can scroll back through there and it's a huge collection of all the amazing workshop items that we've had throughout the uh, the months of doing this there. So, all right, let's welcome into Hakuda Zoo from Haku. And this is a very exciting zoo to jump into. I am going to pause it for now. Uh, we, we're getting about 20 frames paused. Unpause is about 12. So, <laughs> woo! You see some underwater hydrilla already? Woo! -hoo! Yeah! <laughs> you remember this? Yeah, I'm starting to remember this too. This is a really good zoo. This is a really, really good zoo. Uh, it's been a little bit of time since we've uh, looked at this place though, so... Um, but yeah, we're gonna kind of do a little bridge version, a little spark notes version of this zoo. Actually, I'll unpause it from up here. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and fly on through. Look at all the logs and everything. As we come through the beginning here, we have... Looks like Okapi, or no, I, I always mix these up, right? No, it is, it's, yeah, Okapi. They're nice. Yeah, isn't this the uh, tiger and stuff like that? Yeah, I remember going through here. Yep. It has been a little bit of time since we've been through here. Yep, it's been a little bit of time since we've checked up on this zoo. Orangutans here, orangutans. Nice interior for him as well. Ooh, love the greenhouse vibe here. There they are, taking a little nap there. Nice. Oh! <laughs> what are these ones called? The Yalas? Yeah, the Yala. You always forget to submit Fox Bros. And we'll quit forgetting, you nincompoop! Just do it now! Nike, just do it! <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna call y'all nincompoop from now on if you don't submit something. Just like my great grandma used to call me. Well, just do it, you nincom poop. Okay, grandma. I love that trail when you're going up. It's like you get a, a, a treetop view of the orangutans. Uh, yeah, I feel the same way, uh, Earl. <laughs> Everyone's just been kind of like getting hard, at, uh, being hard at work, getting their big zoos done and ready, and now they're releasing uh, one by one, aren't they? Yep. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, hopefully everyone's getting some really nice inspiration here. Oh, let's go up here. Look at this. International Forest Walk. So if, oh, yeah, 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 I remember all this. Okay, it's, it's starting to come back now. This is, this is definitely starting to come back. So yeah, I remember this aquatic section very, very well. Look at the stream. That's a really nicely done stream with the uh, combination of was this the, uh, not the aquatic pack, but the arctic pack? Yeah, the arctic pack ice rocks. Maybe the ice rocks aren't arctic pack, I can't remember. 
They might just be a regular update there. But yeah, love the stream there. And if y'all have uh, noticed, look at the foliage as we're going through here. Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Haku is amazing with their foliage. Bunch of little trails as you go on. As you keep going. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, I remember going through here. Here's the outdoor Yala pen. All the cool kids use the ice rocks. That's right. You're not cool unless you do ice rocks. Thornton Hill Zoo, Yosemite Valley. Yep, now this. Yeah, there's, I think, a few other. Was there another project or two that finished up? But yeah, yeah, there's been a bunch of really good ones that finished up. Here's Australia. Just gotta do some flying overhead here a little bit. Whenever there's like a little detail area, we'll zoom down that way. Ooh, I love this area right through here. Really good use of the in-game uh, Australia pack set. Yeah, this this tiered log wall is really cool. Dingo house. This almost looks like a queue. Hey, just Gore. Yeah, happy Saturday, buddy. <laughs> happy Saturday. Got the dingoes there. Yeah, my week was a little out of proportion too because I didn't stream all week and I was working so early and I'd get home and wouldn't really be in the mood to stream. So I didn't stream all week, so it felt really off. Here's a nice kangaroo habitat. Oh, look at the, uh, what are these ones called? Water hyacinth medium. He's like water lilies almost, but yeah. Wow. Head on into this structure here. Cool, what is this, koalas or something? Let's see. Out in their little island. I think it is koalas. Where are you? Oh, I found them. I got you, buddies. Good to go. All right, let's head, <laughs> let's head back out. Now, let's see, I love this planter here. The big, uh, was it the eucalyptus trees there? Yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, trees to use in game. Nice, right, so let's head out of the Australia section. Actually, there's one house over here that would be interesting to go into. And here we have the hippos. Heep, the hip hop, the hip hop anonymous. Oh, they're inside too. Oh, this is cool looking. I do remember looking at this before, but so hey, here he comes. <laughs> Holy cow, Big Bertha. <laughs> that one is like noticeably bigger than the rest of the other hippos. That has to be Big Bertha there. So excited for the feedings. There we go. Cool. All right, let's boop on out of the Australia section. Head over to the left. Looks like a little bit of Arctic area. Maybe some wolves. Maybe doll sheep and stuff. Yep, there's the doll sheep. A little bit of stuttering going on here. Oh, look at this. Uh, I don't know if Lion Rider's still here, but flashback to Lion Rider's faux rock set. <laughs> that, that dates uh, when this was built. Uh, for those of you that don't remember, right before the Aquatic Pack came out, uh, Nicholas Lion Rider made a, uh, the first faux flexi-colored rock set. That, uh oh, changing the color broke the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it really did. <laughs> what happened? I can't change the color. Oh. Um. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on, game, you can do it. <laughs> hey, there we go, it did it. Okay. Wow, that was scary. But anyways, yeah, that's a, uh, a uh, flexi-colored set there. Let's not touch anything else in the zoo while the game is uh, running. 
I come over this way. Oh yeah, yep, I remember all this as well. This goes down into a, a little house. A little house. I think we have an escape bear. Yeah. There's an escape grizzly bear over here. <laughs> Everyone back away slowly. Everyone back away nice and slow from the escaped grizzly bear. We're going to go this way now instead. Uh, yeah, we saw this. I think a lot of the stuff that we're wanting to look at, or the new stuff that is, is over this way. Yeah, almost, Joachim, almost. <laughs> so Aqua Works, yeah, remember looking at this. Definitely could tell when the Aquatic Pack came out, can't you? <laughs> the bear is hungry. Uh, yeah, we got to get away from it then, for sure. If it's looking like the bear is hungry, eh, it might be time to go. Got the random... Oh, no! <laughs> Here, go back in your habitat. Got the random little bug there where uh, animals will get out of their habitat. So I like this little uh, playground here. It looks like a ship, like a little boat. That's cool. I like that little detail. Habitat with the lighter colored rocks is so good. Yeah, there you go. Heck yeah. Dang it, everything's getting boxed up. <laughs> What's over here? It's like a gift shop. Our cosmic cow with another habitat view. Something in here. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. All right, let's keep going over the over here. Yeah, the great uh, rock work is always on point, right? Yeah, the, the rock work and foliage work is super super good. Oh, this is really nice. Look at this uh, tiger habitat. Again, amazing uh, foliage. It escaped. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit of a problem with escaping animals uh, in Hakuzu. So just come, you know, prepare. Maybe get a suit of armor or something uh, when you come to Hakuzu. I like these towers back here. Big lake over here as well. Really, again, just can't be understated the uh, foliage work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have a good one there, Crowny. Thanks for hanging out. Another habitat. habitat. Something in here. See anything moving? I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a polar bear. Oh, interesting polar bear habitat. Huh, that's an interesting polar bear habitat. Just look at the look at all the foliage in between, all the planters and everything. So good looking. Well, let's keep going around the backside here. Interested about these uh, structures here. Almost look like apartment blocks. Let's see if there's like an interior or anything. I think they are just supposed to be like uh, apartment blocks of some sort. Very, uh, very co communist, very Soviet looking. <laughs> Is there a habitat over here? I think so. uh, No, it's just a fence. Just a general fence line there. Uh, hey, we got the bears! Hello, bear! Oh, this is where the bears are supposed to be. <laughs> well, that one got really far away. Holy cow. Oh, there's a chimp habitat over there. I like how you can see the chimp habitat from over here. Or at least the house of it. Cool. Man, that one bear got really far away. It didn't even say that he was escaped either. 5,000 a month for a one bedroom. Yeah, right? Oh no, more escaped animals. <laughs> it's cool that you get to see the different views of the apartment blocks though as you're walking around the zoo. So here's your outdoor chimp area. <laughs> Don't forget to check your uh, traversable area for your animals. Because they can... Uh... Oh, yep. <laughs> they can definitely just kind of get out there. <clears throat> oh, here's the chimp house. Looks like there's a cool interior as well. Yeah, there is a little backstage uh, view as you're going around. Very nice. Almost like a classical building there. Yeah, I really like the uh, sign on the outside. Pause it again. 
With the amount of escaped animals, I feel like the rent would, rent would be lower. It goes down, you know, $1,000 a month for every single escaped animal, essentially. Let's see. Elephants? Hello, ele oh, no, not just elephants. Uh, really big, like, savannah. It's actually a positive we're walking around this way. I love the use of the, like, almost big elephant gates that you'd see around. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Oh, there's the path. Let's follow the path a little bit more. Yeah, because there's like a cave over here. Uh, but first, let's head up this trail. Oh, it goes over in the uh, giraffes. You get like this almost eye level view of the uh, giraffes. This is a great giraffe habitat. Um, sorry, which zoo? Oh, hey, yeah, no worries, buddy. This is uh, Haku Hakuta Zoo. Hakuta Zoo from Haku. Dude, uh, uh, Earl, let's not talk about whatever you're talking about so much and keep it more to like zoos or what's going on on screen. We don't need to talk about politics or whatever the hell. <laughs> Just look over, you're always talking about some Bezos or capitalist stuff. It's like, let's focus on this a little bit more and not derail the conversation all the time. All right. So a nice little uh, lower view of the giraffes. It's over here. Oh, uh, the Binturongs. Binturongs going into a big glass. I like the glass dome here. Cool design on it. We go inside of that dome. Oh, there's a few domes, actually. No, it's just for the, uh, just for the animals. Get a nice dome there. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, cool. So this is all Binturongs? They got a really nice habitat there. Actually, I'm going to double check. This is just... Yeah, it is. Binturongs get, like, this is probably the world's best Binturong habitat. Can you make a haku about Hakuta Zoo by Haku? <laughs> Please try. <laughs> that is really cool. Um, all right, let's keep moving on. Oh, you know what? We passed up a little cave area back here I wanted to go into. Coming in here. Oh yeah, I get a cool view of the elephants. Or the savannah. I keep saying just elephants, but <laughs> it's a big savannah thing there. Yeah, I love this little cave area. But there's definitely another one where you're going to want to download this too and take a look at all the details, because uh, I'm absolutely going to uh, miss a lot of stuff there. Ooh, yeah, there's huge like plaza for the savannah there's a backstage area there too we're gonna definitely take a little peek at the backstage here we go and just in case don't want to miss any details uh, i think this was the chimp house wasn't it so that has a little interior but i want to make sure nothing else does ah uh, kind of Kinda, right? Area for them to get out of the sun and everything. Alright. Those are flamingos over here? Yeah. <laughs> here's here's where uh here's where the entire here's where all of the frames are going to, right here. <laughs> Uh, S. Dan did something similar in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve, and uh, yeah, we found that combining like so many of the underwater plants together like this just crashes out your uh, frames. <laughs> um, what's my favorite animal? My favorite animal, uh, chimps. I love chimpanzees. 
They've always, I've always had a soft spot for uh, chimpanzees and watching them hang out. I guess it's like primates in general, but uh, chimpanzees in particular have always like really piqued my interest. Use those tricks. Yeah, you see some of those things I uh, used a lot, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, again, I don't want to miss anything, but I feel like we've seen a lot of this other, maybe not this over here. This, this will be the last area that we look at for Hakuta Zoo, uh, cause the rest of it, I'm almost positive we did take a look at there. So, do, 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 uh, so let's find the entrance area. This is almost like a more modern type area with like the black tarmac and everything. Let's head over here. What do we have here? We have the Sun Bear. Yeah, I love the like almost modern uh, take here. So Sun Bear, let's head on in. Yeah, wow, <laughs> this is really cool. Big change. Definitely a, a lot different vibe in here. Uh, much more sleek, much more modern. Wow, that's really cool looking. I've mentioned it before, but uh, just putting in like, you know, quote unquote, simple structural supports in uh, glass buildings or yeah, just glass structures overall can really add a lot. Um, so you see here that Haku added in the, I'm not sure what they use exactly, but this out of the way. Oh, is this just a piece that actually comes like with the panel there? Gotcha. Okay, so that works um, well there. But um, still, uh, the point still stands. If you use like the regular glass that doesn't have the uh, border on it and you actually border it up, uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. Just it looks a lot more uh, structured. So very nice there. Let's head on around the Sun Bear structure. The strong, the Sun Bear building. I like how you can see all the uh, backstage uh, trucks getting ready to load stuff up. Little planter in the middle, that's Asian theme. So here's what really piqued my interest when we first came over here. Is this like house, but it still has like a glass structure on it? What is this? Oh, the proboscis monkey. So this is the sea area. This is definitely just the Southeast Asia uh, area. So it's really cool how they took that whole pack and ran with a more modern kind of feel with it. Uh, which is, okay, you guys are still talking about that. Um, yeah, that was cool. So you have a proboscis monkey island. Planet Coaster soundtrack streams in live for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Dude, oh, this is cool. So this is the Indian uh, elephant habitat here. Ooh, yeah, and the uh, dirty water, right? You always got to put in some dirty water there. So, <laughs> yeah, the open dome concept. Yeah, you can see there's another one over here, too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I haven't seen that before. What do we have over here? Let's see. We keep moving in. African bush elephant and lemurs. So we're in kind of a, a combination area. It's like a sea area, but also some uh, African... Uh, animals as well. Ah, just threw dust on everyone. <laughs> these shade structures are really cool here. See these here? Yeah, these are really neat. With the bamboo up top. You know. These are the lemurs as we walk through here. Watch your head for, for poops. That's cool. You got the climbing structure right over top. Low bridge. <laughs> nice. All right, let's zoom out again. Make sure we're not skipping over anything. So we saw the elephants. Uh, yeah, here I'm gonna go to the, back to this half dome. So we come over here. Oh, pandas! Hey, pandas! And there they are, of course, just hanging out. Hello. <laughs> Love the plank. Hey, there's a, there's a special uh, little bit to it, isn't there? Oh, I love this. Look at this detail of uh, keeping the pandas back a little bit more. These little rails or whatever. I've never seen this animation. I've never seen them playing so much like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the Planko soundtrack. There's just something about it that's just it's a it's a bop, right? It's a bop. 
I've never seen the pandas playing together like that before. Cool, I think this is the outdoor area for them. Yep, see right there, they go in and out. Very nice. Over here we have Tapiers! Hello, Tapiers! There it is, hiding in the background there. See how bright the water is, too? Are we doing Deep Pulse Reefs? Yeah, incredible, right? Yeah, really good. Again, hopefully people can take some uh, really nice inspiration from this. And I think this is like the last one over here. What do we have? I'm gonna guess Tiger. I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be a Tiger of some sort. Let's head down. No, it's not, it's actually the Dole. Oh, didn't they just redo the Doles? Make sure there's nothing else in the interior. Nope. Uh, I think they just redid the doles. So let's take a look at those. With the recent patch that came out, was like this week or something. So those of you who know what a doll really looks like, hopefully you'll be more satisfied with how that looks now. Because I guess there was a bit of an outcry for how the dolls looked. So there you go. Looks like they redid them up, I guess. I actually don't. I can't tell the difference. So it still looks like an orange dog to me. Um, but yeah, those of you that can tell the difference, hopefully it looks better to you now. And I think that's it. Methinks. Methinks that's it. So yeah, let's go ahead and call it there. Um, let's move on to the next zoo. So yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this zoo. I will say that it is a bit of a chunkier zoo. It is a chonkers uh, of a zoo there. So if you have a lower end system, just give yourself some time. Don't forget before you load in the zoo, maybe bump down the graphic settings to low or even lowest and then when you get into the zoo you can kind of uh, adjust it from there uh, but it is a, an incredible uh, project that is uh, you know it's really awesome that's all finished out this is a complete zoo uh, so yeah definitely give the creator all the uh, the love in there all the likes the comments the you know all the fun stuff you do to <laughs> to uh, help out the creators there so big shout out to Haku for finishing uh, Hakuda Zoo there and yeah awesome 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 stuff there they look the same yeah <laughs> they still don't look accurate uh, well I guess I don't know <laughs> they look like an orange doggy to me so that's that's about as far as uh me being a layman knows so <laughs> but yeah awesome stuff there from haku let's head out please keyboard no okay keyboard does, has stopped working we will now move into clicking on things there we go don't change any flexi color rocks you'll crash the game yes it's it's possible it is very pie. Hey, Troy, what's up, buddy? It was an amazing build. Yeah, it did. They did really good. Yeah, really, really good build. So next... Next, 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 we're going to look at... I was afraid it takes a little bit longer to load out of a bigger zoo <laughs> as well. Um, we're going to do, let's see, we did Hobbiton, we did Hakuda. We're going to do probably Myrtle Beach Aquatic Center um, by, oh, I didn't put who it was by in the description there. One second, let me update the blueprint section. I didn't put by Sawdust after the Myrtle Beach Aquatic Center by Sawdust. <clears throat> cool. There we go. So next, like I was just saying, we're gonna go ahead and look at, unsubscribe from that, unsubscribe from Akuda, Myrtle Beach Aquatic Center. So this is a really cool project from Sawdust there. Um, and yeah, it turned out really, really well. So this one has a few different instructions from it though, because uh, it does include mods, uh, it, not just any kind of mods, it includes standalone scenery mods. So um, I believe if you go to the, if you click on the link in the description, I think that they've, uh, Put in all the mods that you need for it. Uh, so yeah, make sure you check the description of this zoo before downloading it to make sure you have all the scenery mods installed or else it will crash. Kaboom! <laughs> I think it's literally just the chain link fence piece. 
Um, other than that, I think it's just animal mods. So, oh, hey, hey, that loaded a lot quicker. Uh, there's that, and there's uh, custom billboard images that you need to put in as well, and a few reskin mods to get the full experience. So uh, just note that before downloading the zoo so you can get the full experience and so it doesn't crash on you and all that kind of fun stuff. Just uh, check the description of Sawdust, um, the workshop item, because I'm sure they've uh, put a link to all the uh, mods that you need and everything like that there. So cool, let's go ahead and check out Myrtle Beach Aquatic Center from Sawdust. I don't know why, I felt like I needed to sing it there. Look at the lockers right in the beginning there. Boom, bam, love it. Gotta have a good locker system, right? So cool, let's head on in here. I love the uh, sleek 90s kind of vibe that we have going on here. So head on in. Come on in here, get our tickets there. <clears throat> Looks like the billboards aren't working for some reason in this zoo. It could be um, a name thing. A lot of the reason, usually when billboards aren't hooked up, um, is because of a name between the file name and whatever name inside the documents folder aren't the same. So hopefully more of them show up as we go. Yeah, see, so some of them are showing up um, at least. Uh, looks like other ones have different names though between them. Uh, but it's cool. Let's keep going here. Really cool little uh, display things on the side. Love the, uh, love the like, again, the kind of like 90s pastel like little vibes. There. Always something I know, right? It's always always complicated to get all the uh, billboards and the mods and this and that and the other thing trying to work out <laughs> your brochures have a little habitat there hello hey let's head on in to the zoo there we go let's get an overhead view oh nice it's almost like a uh, yeah a nice office over here you're working there and our first is, we got the gray seals. The gray seals, and looks like there's like a, a duck or some other thing kind of hanging out with there. And there's with the temperate mod. Uh, so we can also uh, plug that now to uh, mods, uh, Silver Fox. We can plug the temperate reskin mod as well from Sawdust. Because uh, yeah, what you're seeing here is, uh, if you download it, you'll get to put down the gravel um, for the temperate reskin mod. I can't remember which one. I didn't really play around with it, but I'm kind of curious which one puts that in. Ah, there you go. So the sand course with the temperate reskin mod, and this is so stinking handy, essentially puts down the gravel in game and it looks so good. So, uh, so if you download blueprints from Google Drive, do you have to manually input the billboards or do they just automatically upload to the blueprint or zoo? No, so you have to, yeah, you download them from Google Drive uh, from the person, then you have to put them, once you download the images, put them into your documents, Planet Zoo, or Frontier, Planet Zoo media file section with all the other blueprints or a billboard excuse me so yeah put it where all the other blue billboards are and then when you open up the game um they'll work out they'll work out like we saw in christina's build and this build as well for the most part so cool let's head on in saw the seals there first as we keep going so there's the other bit of the mod that we had to install was every single penguin so you're gonna see all of the penguin mods as we go through here so the first one yeah, we have the little blue penguin. You have to remind me uh, who did all these. I know Leaf did a bunch of them, but I, I know that, who was it, like Seth and a few others did some uh, penguin mods too. But here's the little blue penguin uh, habitat in the big open waters. <clears throat> there you go. Nice. Over, ooh, this is cool again with like the, uh, the water shaft coming down here. What do we have here? The uh, North American River Otters? User media folder. Um, oh yeah, yep, and uh, that's where you put everything. Yep, is the North American River otters there? Yeah, you and Mega Gaming Rex for the little blues. Cool. Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah, let us know who uh, made them as we're going through. I know this was Nicholas Lion Rider. River otter facts. Let's see, I think this is a billboard. But it's a Okay, yeah, so it is. Yeah, so you see some of the billboards are working at least. Which eventually you'll have to do a lot of billboard. Yeah, so just put all the billboards in a uh, in a Google Drive uh, folder, then I'll be able to put them in, no problem. Again, just make sure the file name... <clears throat> excuse me, let me show you here. So just make sure that the file name that you put here, so River Otter, is the same file name inside the user media file. 
in documents. Because I think that's what happened at the for the front billboard. Um, so yeah, make sure that both file names are the same or else they won't show up in game. Nick and Jen for the North, thank you. <laughs> Leafs are uh, go-to uh, modder extraordinaire, basically. <laughs> Here's some more uh, otters. I think this is the in-game one. Check this way a lot easier. So yeah, here's the giant otter made by Frontier. <laughs> go. Very nice looking. Oh, cool. I like this little signage you're going through here. That's that's really clever. That's clever. Really uh, thick foliage as you're coming through. Nice. There you go with the, uh, the in-game modded uh, food and drink vending machines. Little seating area. Let's head back around. Staff only that way. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more uh, penguins. What is this? The African penguin. Which I know Lion Rider had a hand in that, if I remember right. African penguins got the nice desert rocks. There's a really cool habitat. I like the uh, the different vibe of it compared to everything else. Obviously, you know, African uh, penguins get a little bit different vibe, but yeah, did a really good job there. Let's see, what do we have here? The mill or grist stone? The grist stone, about 1,200 pounds on display here, was probably from the Paxun grist mill on the north side of the river. It was a runner's stone. For many years, it served as a stepping stone for boarding carriages in front of the uh, Drew House on Van Ness Street. Then it spent many years at the County Museum in Monroe. Uh, it is considered of more value because it was imported from France in one piece. Many milestones came over in pieces as ballast on sailing ships were later banded together to form one stone. Because the runner stone rotated, it had to be balanced and adjusted to maintain a clearance of about one millimeter from the bed stone. The grain is ground between the stones and it works its way to the outer edges where it falls down into the bin. TIL! TIL, what the heck, you know, grindstones are all about and stuff, so that's cool. <clears throat> nice, Harry. Um, Afro Penguin was you and Nick. Cool, cool. Hey, what's up, Joey? Let's head over this way. I like all the signs. I always mention it, but I always forget to put signs in my zoos. I did it for Thornton Hill Zoo, too. Flippers! <laughs> Otter things. Let's head over here to the Grist Mill Tavern. So a little bit of a uh, story tie-in there with the old grindstone. Give your menu here for the old Grist Mill. What are they serving up here? There we go. Some sandwiches, burgers and grillers, hot items. I love that. That's great. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get a nice view of the... Uh, these are different penguins, aren't they? Are these the in-game ones? The king penguin, right? That's the actual frontier penguin, right? I can't remember. <laughs> I legit can't remember which one fr frontier made and which one they didn't, because they all kind of look like the same quality penguin for the most part. Uh, but yeah, I get to uh, kind of hang out there and eat by the uh, by the penguins there. Yes. Head over here. Tavern only. Oh, tavern seating only. Yeah. This is cool. Look at this. Big, like, monument to, to the park. King is the frontier. Thank you. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yeah, the bar stools are cool, right? Yeah, they look really neat. Look at that. Let's go over to the Fisherman's Wharf area. Looks like there's some more bar stools and stuff. Heck yeah. He's a little bit tall. I, I will say that a little bit tall. I think if you lowered him down just like a smidge. I know I'm being a nitpicky butthead, but <laughs> if you put him down like right there, just a little bit. Because yeah, if you look, this is why a Frank is important, right? Nah, it's okay. It all looks good. But yeah, no, it looks, it looks cool. The, I like the uh, lighthouse in the middle. And now, is this a piece that we have? Oh, it's the aquatic lamp post. Again, something I hardly ever use. Um, but cool to see other people using stuff like that. Oh, the cannery gifts. Got a little chocolate fudge sign. Got some, uh, so a bunch of candy in there. Come down to Fisherman's Wharf a little bit more. The lobster trap. Got some beer, burgers, seafood, captain's quarters. Oop, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see, oh, you can actually go inside here. Yep, there you go. Heck yeah, that's a cool little Fisherman's Wharf. <laughs> Other side of African penguins, or not the African, the king penguins, right? Oh, these are totally different. Whoa, I'm like way off. The chinstrap penguins, there we go. 
Pinstrap penguins. Remember, this was a leaf thing. Hello! <laughs> yeah, the boat, right? I love the lobster and the boat up on the building. Yeah, there's some really fun details up on the on these three buildings throughout there. That's a fun little area. What else? Here. Ooh, look at the big penguins. Here we go, the emperor penguins. So these are the big guys there. Go look at them go there. Right, isn't that the thing? The emperor penguins are the... Maybe not the biggest, but one of the biggest uh, penguin species. That's cool. Oh, there it is. I have no idea who made this. I'm, I, can't, I can't remember, but if I had to guess, Leaf and Gem. Let's just, I'm going to put out the, uh, the uh, Chinchaps penguins are your favorite. They they kind of are my favorite too. They're, they're, <laughs> they're very derpy looking in the best way possible. <laughs> oh, look at this one sleeping. Hi. Hello, I like the yellow on you. Very cool. All right, let's head over. There was like a building, wasn't there? Ah, yes. Oh, this is backstage. Oh, this is a really good backstage building. The Myrtle Beach Aquatics. And he had his little signs on the side of it there. Oh, here's a Sawdust modded security cameras. If you haven't seen these, we showed these off last week. Um, these are the smaller security cameras. But yeah, this looks like a backstage. Let's see if there's an interior here. A little bit, but mainly a shipping receiving area. Very nice. Love the uh, AC vents up top. Cool. All right. Did we, we went over there. We went over there. Oh, we did look at this over here. Oh, the uh, crocodiles or whatever. Gariels. Excuse me. Gariels. Oh, there's a building over this way too. Oh, we just didn't go over this side of the uh, park yet. <laughs> That'd be why. That would be why. What's in here? Now we have the crocodiles. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to pick one animal pack, what would you recommend? Uh, well, there's only one quote-unquote animal pack out, and that's for the Southeast Asia uh, DLC or animal pack, and that's the one that includes more animals than other packs. So yeah, only the most recent pack that came out is an actual animal pack. The rest of them are a combination of uh, scenery items and animal packs. But my favorite in-game as of right now, today, is the Australia pack. And that's mainly for the building items. Uh, the building items in the Australia pack are awesome. And I'm mainly a building guy, not really an animal guy there. So um, I'll always recommend packs that are more focused on building than uh, that. So This is cool with the Caymans. This interior there. I love the use of fog and everything. Big Cayman structure. Over here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that's, that's clever. Let's see. Gator Walk. New exhibit coming soon. They are taking out Gator Walk. But you can see where the old Gator Walk used to be there. That's cool. I like those little details a little, little bit there. So, and then here's, uh, you know, I'm just going to mention it again because I always like to be over prepared for this kind of thing rather than under. And again, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Sawdust uh, put up on the workshop item for this that um, all the mods that you need to download. But this is a mod. This is a standalone scenery piece mod. So if you download this zoo and you don't have this mod installed, it will crash. Your game will just bam, and then you'll probably get the error screen like, please let us know what you were doing when your game crashed kind of thing. So yeah, again, make sure you have this mod installed. Uh, it's the only one I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, if you don't have this mod installed, it will goosh, kabam, crash, bang, your game. Uh, it's not going to like kill it forever. It'll just, you know, you just won't be able to open up that project. So uh, there you go there. And I think, oh, no, no, hey, look, there's more over here. I keep thinking we're all done, but there's just more, more, more. <laughs> oh, here's the exit of it. Look at that. We went through the whole thing. It exits with the uh, the seals again. So Australia pack all the way. Yep. Second is aquatic pack. Yeah, my second always switches between aquatic pack and South America pack. Um, there's there's some really, really great building, flexi-color building pieces in the uh, South America pack. And, you know, lately, I mean, I haven't really built in Planet Zoo in probably about a week and a half or so. Um, but lately, I've really been using the aquatic pack for that many things. Like the aquatic rocks, the flexi rocks, I don't really use them that much anymore. Um, they look okay, but I think they kind of stand out in a weird way compared to everything else. 
I know they're kind of supposed to, but I just, I don't think they blend that well with a lot of items. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I kind of found myself resorting back to using um, natural rocks rather than the aquatic rocks so much, because they just kind of look like plastic. And um, yeah, if you look at like real zoos, it's not like the rock work they do in real zoos isn't like plastic you look and they try and make it look like realish rock so i'd rather kind of get that look rather than the aquatic pack rock that's picking kind of my you guys are going the wrong way security get them get them get them anyways <laughs> uh but that was i may have missed some stuff there but that was oh no there was one thing i wanted to take a look at i, I was gonna i wanted to note it there it is <laughs> I, I think it's kind of funny how the aquatics director actually it's kind of cool they get their, their own like building and everything and like their own office but I like how you could just come in here and just stare at the aquatic director like you just sit here and like you, know, you get a nice view as the aquatics director of uh, the uh, habitat and everything but you can just imagine some like snot nosed kid just sitting there like picking their nose with like a balloon just like their face just smushed up against the glass like <sighs> hi Hi, I'm, my name's Timmy. What are you doing? Hi. He's just tapping on the glass. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, I'm Timmy. What are you doing in there? Hi. <laughs> just annoying the heck out of the aquatics director. <laughs> you personally like the realistic rocks versus the flexi? Yeah, you know, I really like the flexi when they first came out. And they do have their uses. Um, I think for interiors, like houses, they look really cool. Um, but yeah, like exteriors and stuff, I found myself using the regular... Uh, rocks more often uh, but but anyways i think that does it for myrtle beach or myrtle beach yeah myrtle beach aquatic center so there you go love the uh, again kind of that 90s like kind of sleek i don't think industrial is the right word but just kind of concrete kind of look to it there so yeah really cool uh zoo there from sada so cool 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 let's go ahead and head on to the next project there sounds like i was that kid yeah that's why i know him so well I'd sit there and tap on the... What are you doing? Can I, can I see? How I go see? Hi. <laughs> All right. Two more zoos to look at there. So we're going to go ahead and go to Pine Hill Zoo. So Pine Hill Zoo, realistic forest zoo from Lucas070. And I believe, if I remember right, this was Lucas's first zoo that they did. So prepare to feel even worse about yourself. <laughs> but also remember that Lucas is kind of like the golden, like the chosen one. I think Lucas is like one of those chosen one people who just get zoos. Like they just understand zoo design because from the screenshots I saw of uh, of uh, Pine Hill Zoo here, it looks amazing. And again, if it's their first zoo that they made, it's like, oh, fuck, damn. <laughs> the pile of full rocks. Yeah, I use those all the time. I use those, and I use the small, um, single, like, it's not pebble rock, but it's like a smaller, uh, rock. I use those for, like, fences and, like, stepping stones and stuff like that. So there's definitely some use for them, don't get me wrong. There's definitely some use for a lot of them. Um, but yeah, I find myself just kind of, uh, resorting back to the in-game rock a lot more. <laughs> yeah, Timmy's like, huh, you're looking like a strange penguin there, Mr. Aquatics Director Man, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey what's up lucas so yeah lucas can you confirm for us this is your first zoo that you completed uh, isn't lucas oh there you go yeah, I'll say, yeah you can go ask lucas right there i know that harry works at a zoo as a zookeeper um savannah is not a zookeeper but works with animals whether they're humans or more wild. <laughs> She's a... I guess you'd say a relations manager. I don't know. That's my understanding. So she keeps the humans, the human animals relations going well, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Who else? Who else works in zoos? If you feel like uh, saying so. It's my first completed zoo. This is Lucas070's first completed zoo. And holy guacamole. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> and you know what? Surprisingly, as big as this, like, I'm sure everyone's looking at this like, uh, okay, I can never open it. I'm getting like 45 FPS right now. I'm getting like 45 F FPS, so um, really don't worry about frames. I think a lot of people could open a zoo there. And we're in government, so it's like a zoo. Yes, there, there, fair. <laughs> 
Assistant Manager of Animal Services. Say that right. You need to like lower it down. So you're uh, a s m a s. You're an ass mass. Just say your your ass mass from now on. Assistant Manager of Animal Services. <laughs> and eventually you'll be you'll be a mass. You'll just be the manager of animal services, hopefully, or or lead manager. Then it won't work. But yeah, so for now you'll just be a a mass. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head into uh, Pine Hill Zoo, the first zoo completed from Lucas. So this is going to be kind of fun, a little bit of a time travel here, because uh, it's probably going to be a lot of, um, or no, a void of a lot of DLCs and updates and stuff like that, right? There's going to be a lot of like beginning zoo, or beginning planet zoo stuff there. I like how you put the name of the zoo up top there. That's pretty cool. Get your tickets over there. Oh, this is so good. Nice. <laughs> you like that, Savannah? There you go. Hey, look at that. Look at the little uh, ticket counter. Beep, 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 beep. Everyone get your own tickets. Here we go with the big plaza. Huh. I wonder why this is happening. This has happened to other people, too. I think it's a thing in, like, the way the game works. If there's like a lot of texture pull from like a certain thing, it like lowers the texture quality of other items or something like that. Someone was explaining it to me that, um, that yeah, if you see lower textures in one area, it's because the game is trying really hard to pull textures from another area or something like that. So it'll minimize, it'll make certain textures look like crap. <laughs> uh, cool, look at the interior of the gift shop here. That's awesome. Oh, there you go, Leaf and uh, Jay Rassic, both government contract employees. There you go. You've been getting that so much. It's a lot of people have been reporting that since the recent update. But, you know, it's... Planet Zoo people are starting to realize what uh, Planet Coaster people have been saying for a long time. Every update we get with the game kind of breaks the game a little bit more. To the point of where you just kind of have to accept some things as broken. So that's definitely happening with Planet Zoo. <laughs> the more updates we get, the more things also get broken along the way. Ooh, here we go. Hey, it's a real zoo, everyone! There we go. We have the uh, we have a real zoo here, and I feel like this is the first time in a long time we've had a real zoo with flamingos at the front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the whole inside joke with our community that you it's not a real zoo unless there's a uh, flamingo habitat at the very front. Oh my gosh, and there's a big old backstage too. That's amazing. That's awesome. Just let me have my five FPS and H, uh, high quality textures, right? Yeah, stop dumbing it down for me. What the heck? Staff only as we come up over here to uh, the restaurant. Yep, nice restaurant. Ooh, and you have the uh, start of a stream here. Does it actually... Yeah, flows into the uh, flamingo there. Cool, playground as well. Love the wooded, uh, wooded feel. Coming into North America, it looks like. Let's see. The Macaque Forest. Oh, it's happening here too. I've never had, even in Thornton Hill Zoo, I didn't have it this bad. You've always had that texture issue. I always thought it was because of I had a low end system though. I mean, you know, not to flaunt or anything. I don't have a low end system. <laughs> like I have the complete opposite of a low end system. And on top of that, I just remembered I'm playing on ultra. Like I'm playing on the ultra preset. You know what I mean? So I have the graphics settings up as high as they can possibly go, <laughs> and I'm getting 45, or, well, I'm getting 37. Okay, there we go, I'll be fair. I'm getting 37 FPS uh, inside the zoo here. I don't know, that's that's a weird thing that it does. Das Viad. Let's see what else we have. I like the little uh, trail that goes over here. Oh, it's a habitat. That's a habitat. Was that a bear? Hey, bear. What are you doing there, bear? You look kind of, you look, you look a little uh, stuck there, bear. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna, oh, there's another bear. <laughs> you were drowning your cub. There we go. That's been a thing too. My animals and staff, or just people have been getting stuck. Has, there, has everyone else's people been getting stuck as well? This is a really nice habitat. Like they'll just like walk in a circle. Ooh, that's cool looking. Over this way, now we're up top. Really good terrain changes everywhere. Asian small clawed otter, but it's, uh, I don't think it's actually in there because this was before we got otters in the game. 
Yeah, so I, I'm gonna bet if we look, yep, it's not a real habitat. That's so fun to go back and see, you know, before we got some uh, animals. In oh, I love this little habitat uh, boop right there. Are these even low quality? Dude, what's going on? Even the bricks are low quality. <laughs> I don't understand. I've never had it this bad before, but I love that little uh, industrial structure right there. That's really neat. All right, heading forward a little bit more. So we're, oh, there we are. I got, I got lost. <laughs> I got a little lost there. This is a fantastic zoo. We got the canoe, uh, the canoe hire. Oh, we can get some canoes and take them out. Heck yeah, that's a, that's a cool idea. Yeah, there are the canoes. Go and hang out and uh, go around. This is more like a uh, almost a park than a straight up zoo. Grizzly Lodge. They always fire your staff after they've done their job. I only have a few kind of hanging around there. Oh, good use of the grizzly bear there. Yeah, I only have a few hanging around at most. Let's take a look at this from above. Very nice. You got the big industrial building back there too. Backstage building. Let's see over here. Oh, it looks like uh, some. <laughs> you like that? Ew. <laughs> uh, some beavers. Some ethyl beavers. Let's take a look at this backstage. Look, there's even little habitats back here, little holding areas. Yeah, Lucas just gets zoos. There are just some people out there that just get zoo. Oh, there's even. Yep, of course there is. <laughs> of course there's a interior for the backstage. Wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, that's awesome. The washing machines. Nice. Let's head up the uh, the walkway here. You notice with the walkway we have stairs and a ramp, so guests of all accessibility can go ahead and enjoy the uh, the zoo. American bison and pronghorn. They also get a nice backstage as well. Definitely have to check it out. Yep, because they do everything backstage. Everything gets an interior. Everything gets backstage, for the most part. <laughs> no, like literally everything. And again, that temperate reskin mod is so handy. Like, dang. Dang. This too? Yeah. I think that's the same building repeated over, but useful to do that. All right, let's head back onto the guest area. Let's see. Above here, anything? The wolves? No, I thought those were wolves in there. See anything? Hello. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So we have the the Arctic wolf. I always forget that we have the Arctic wolf in game. I feel like that's probably the animal we see the least. I don't know if we've ever seen until now an Arctic wolf habitat. What's up, everyone? No one likes the Arctic wolves, huh? We gotta give the Arctic wolf some love in there. Not just the timber wolves and stuff. That's a really big habitat for him. Nice. Looks like there's even some stadium seating. Have the uh, doll sheep. This circles back around. Actually, does this all connect up? Or it's another tier, isn't it? I don't think this actually connects up. No, it doesn't. That's just another tier up. So this is a big tiered zoo. It starts at the bottom there and it goes one level up, another level up. It might even be another level up. Worst animal. <laughs> it's been confirmed. The Arctic wolf is the worst animal. <laughs> no one likes it. <clears throat> I'm having to kind of zoom out a little bit for this tour because of all the foliage. It's hard to keep uh, track of where we're at. That's why I'm not really doing the first person view for this one. Ooh, it's, oh, it's, I thought there was a uh, walkthrough over here, but no, there's... Uh, Two habitats here, split in the middle. Something walking around over here. Uh, oh no, it's leaves. They have the leaves blowing around. I always forget we have those. You don't think you've ever built a habitat for either wolf. I built one for the uh, timber wolf for sure. For sure. Uh, but not the Arctic. Nope, never the Arctic. I don't see what's in there. Hey, oh, hey, look, we have the tigers there. Hello, tigers. Mm -hmm. 
It's like a nice restaurant. Stop, stop and rest area. Some more backstage habitats. I don't think you can see these from the, uh, from the guest path. No, not really at all. That's so cool. You can guys see the tippy tops of them, but you won't be able to see them. Snow Leopard. We got the backstage here. Yep, yeah, all done up. Across we had the red pandas. Kind of moving into like an Asian type area there. Regular pandas. There it is. Check out the viewing area as well. Ooh, yeah, nice. Alright, let's do a big zoom out here, see where we're at. Yeah, we almost got this half of the zoo done. We'll fly over that way. There's gonna be a lot of details I'm gonna miss on this one, like a lot, a lot of them. So just get ready for that. Um, definitely download this. And again, this doesn't really take up that much uh, power or anything. Again, I'm getting like 40 FPS right now. So you definitely all should be able to uh, download this and um, take a look at it there. I love all the different stadium seatings they, uh, they put in. That's so cool. Nice. All right. Big old shade structure here. Let's see. I'm totally lost now. <laughs> Let's look at it from this way. There we go. Now I got it. So there's the, the elephants. There we are. Um, in the middle, it looks like there's a like greenhouse or just another cool house. Ah, yeah. Crocodiles. Help you out there, buddy. Because everywhere you look, there's just something else. A little aquarium. And yeah, again, it's really cool to see all this stuff built with uh, without a lot of DLCs or updates or anything like that. Obviously, it looks like the Arctic uh, DLC had come out uh, before this Zook uh, was released. But other than that, there was definitely not that much to kind of go off of for new building pieces. And so, oh, we're back at the North American section. Cool, cool. Uh, what's up, Diamond Brook? Diamond Brook Unbox. But, but what do you unbox? All the best things. <laughs> but how are we doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday there. Moving into like an African section. Oh yeah, I like the color change. There's this primates. It's like a climbing structure. Hey there. <laughs> Doing a little bit of moonwalk action, but still works out. Is this all one habitat? Can they go through here and then go inside? And then keep going? No, they can't. Okay, I thought this all hooked up into like one giant habitat. I think it's the same animal and maybe they're like meant to. Oh wow, yeah, that's really cool. Big old primate island. Let's see, over here you have some ostriches. And finally, the uh, savanna. But not a simple one. A little bit more than a simple savanna. <laughs> Very nice. So, I think, and again, I, I know I messed up. I know I did, but there, it's just, it's, uh, the zoos that are in the deep woods and stuff, it's it's really easy to kind of get turned around and all that fun stuff. Or um, uh, miss big pockets of it and stuff. So again, I'm sure I missed a little bit of it, but hopefully that gave you at least a an appetizer, a little bit of a, a want to download this and take a look at it. Because yeah, again, there's you could take a whole day just kind of uh, walking around this place. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, walking around this place, uh, getting inspiration and just having a good old time 
Uh, walk on throughout the zoo. Look at the uh, backstage road going through everywhere. Uh, can modded animals only have grade one food? Not that it really matters in sand. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't play uh, anything else except for sandbox. So um, modders, there you go. Can modded animals, I think they'll just eat whatever animal they're based off of. Uh, I believe so. Uh, but anyway, so there is Pine. What'd you name it? <laughs> Pine Hill Zoo uh, from Lucas zero seven zero. This was their first zoo they ever made. Uh, really amazing stuff there. So be sure to uh, download it and take a look at all the fun detail work in Pine Hills Zoo uh, from Lucas zero seven zero. Always fun to see some stuff there from Lucas. Alrighty, let's go to the last zoo for the day. Ah, cool. I was kind of saving this one for last on purpose. Uh, so this is... New Zoo Part 1 from Beezy. We've got Beezy built. That was a better one. Be See, you got to get the you get the Beezy in there. Uh, but yeah, this is New Zoo Part 1. Not complete, but yeah, if you all are following on uh, Discord or... Um, yeah, my Discord or the Bro Nation Discord and a few others. I know Beezy's always posting a bunch of fun Discords there. Uh, but yeah, they've been sharing this project here and there. And uh, I'm just always amazed at the turnaround rate at some of you bz especially <laughs> i feel like bz and others will like they'll make an amazing project that'll take a lot of us like a year or more to do and they're like okay cool that was fun okay now i'm already halfway done with this next project it's like dude <laughs> you're just you're an ever flow of creative juice basically just like always uh, pooping out creativeness there pooping out creativeness yep <laughs> You went mod man? Oh, what do you think a mod made of? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. This is a long one. Oh, did you try and load this one in? I haven't loaded this one in yet. Um, oh, you mean the overall? Yeah, no, this is a long one. You are already almost at an hour and 40 minutes. There's a lot of really good zoos to go through. So but this is the last zoo, and then we'll get into mods and blueprints. Uh, there's some really good mods and blueprints today. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Here we go. Now, I know that BZ was hanging out in chat earlier, so hopefully they are still here to give some insight there if they would like to. If not, no worries. We always do, I always do a half-decent job. Yeah, that's right. I got you. <laughs> no worries. Um, but cool. Let's go ahead and hit it, head on into ba -ba 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 -ba, New Zoo Part 1 from BZ. So we're going to head on into the Congo. I love this. The uh, This is one of those things where I forget we can change the color of the African painted shields. So they changed to these really cool traditional African colors. But yeah, let's head on in. Here we go, Okape! I love the overheads here too. Okape! We are on pause, we are, good. So we get a outdoor view, but if you've never seen a BZ builds before, we're definitely gonna get an interior view, interior view as well. Don't you worry about, ooh, first, let's go up here. Look at these little steps. They even have the uh, the slip resistant. <laughs> I love those uh, that little detail there. Do, 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 do. What do we have here for our first animal? Oh, there. Um, you've been taking inspiration off your zoo, and now my zoos are coming along. Oh, that's awesome! I'm glad that uh, you're able to find some inspiration there. Always good to hear. If you uh, if you want to, be sure to submit your zoo uh, when you're comfortable with it, or if you're comfortable doing that, submit your zoo to uh, our community showcase. We will take a look at it. Well, all right, let's head over this way because there's an interior here as well. There you go. Custom doors. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> head down for a little eye level view of what do we have going on in here? Tell me now. Nothing. Must be a modded animal I don't have installed. Probably a modded animal. But no big deal. Cool. Let's head over to the Okapi. How do I get in there? <laughs> Did I miss the door? Uh-uh. Oh, I thought that this was a walkway here. I didn't realize this is literally like where the Okapi can come in and uh, hang out and stuff. That's funny, okay. <laughs> uh, let's move on this way. 
And there we go, we got, what is this, the Yala? It's two exhibits we've seen with the Yala, or no, it's something different. Bongos, that's right, Bongos. I always confuse the Yala and the Bongos. Nice. Ooh, I love the, uh, the rope lights coming along. Great views. Really great views. So leaving the Congo, heading into more of an Asian-inspired area. Oh, look at all the terrain work and the climbing structures. Oh! <laughs> All right, uh, orangutans, there we go. Some nice orangutans there. Now what is this? I've seen these a few places. Oh, look at, they have like a, a box where they have to like open it up and get the bananas from inside the box. Nice enrichment item. Working on a new zoom, I might post it uh, mid-production for your video. Yeah, definitely. Always open to looking at um, work in progress as well. This is cool. Yo. That's so cool looking. So there's that. I'm about it. Well, I'm just, I'm all about that right now. Everything, everything there was, it's great. Right here we have the chimps, I think. I saw something over here, where are you? Hello, oh no, way off, sun bear. Yeah, way, way off, there's a sun bear in there. Dude, please give, you know, actually out of curiosity, is this all one object? It kind of is one object. You could probably... You could, yeah. They It's split up into different pieces, but it is definitely doable to split off into one thing. Oh! Because I can almost picture that as like a... Never mind. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> um, so that's why I might not be what you expect. But I'm improving. Hey, as long as you, uh, you're feeling good about your builds and you feel like you're improving and you're having fun... That's really all that matters, my friend. Heck yeah. We have some of the proboscis monkeys, I think. Actually, a few of them. Oh, I love that you can see them uh, running back and forth. Chimps and proboscis. That's so neat. Look at how uh, active they are running back and forth. You know, speaking of newer builders, we were having that um, in the past week. There's a few newer builders posting in the Discord. Um, we have a really good uh, collection of building levels in uh, our Discord there. So if you're ever wanting some, a uh, little bit of feedback, you know. Um, is that an otter in there too? No, it's a heck of Gariel, dude. You have a Gariel surrounding the monkeys? <laughs> oh, but anyways, yeah, join our Discord if you'd like to uh, get some nice positive feedback. Good constructive criticism uh, for people's builds and everything there. Uh, we have a nice, well-balanced community there. It's, just, it's amazing. It is amazing. It's definitely amazing. The uh, the Gariels, though, that one threw me for a bit of a loop. Oh, no, see, the Gariels and the monkeys are swimming together. Oh, my gosh. Do you think the, the proboscis monkeys keep the Gariel in check? That must be what it is. That's, how, that's why it doesn't turn on them. <laughs> oh, hey, is that the uh, the end of it there? I know it's a work in progress, so I want to make sure we just didn't uh, miss anything. Uh, back here. Oh, yeah, we did see that. Yeah, I think that is the end of part one. Let's adjust the lighting just a little bit. But yeah, let's get a nice overhead view of all of uh, part one here from BZ Builds for the new zoo. Did a really good job so far. Really good job. Because of you, I'm feeling confident. I'm also confident because of Leaf, Nick, and all the other... Oh, good, good. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a nice community. It's definitely, you know, one of the nicer communities out there. If you ever have questions or help or any of that kind of stuff, I think everyone's always willing to uh, help people out. So, yeah, no, really good job there from BZ. And as always, oh, let's take a look here. As always, be sure to uh, download this. Get, in, get some inspiration. Tear apart the builds a little bit. What did you use for this? For the roofing? Oh, it's the Africa... What is it? African Sticks Panel Trunk 01. Uh, that's really cool. So cool, yeah, nice stuff there from BZ. Let's go ahead and head on out. Can't wait to see some more there, because that's just part one, right? So we're definitely gonna be seeing some more updates from BZ on the new zoo, and hopefully it'll get a name. That's always, that's, I think that's the hardest thing to do for a zoo, is trying to get a dang name. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, got, I haven't even gotten a... Uh, yeah, I still have new zoo to you for uh, my new zoo project there. I haven't even gotten a name for it yet there. So, yeah, big shout out to all the uh, zoo creators there. Uh, congrats to those of you that completed your uh, project. No, wrong! I, I was talking about new zoo to you and then I clicked on it to load in. Luckily, that's not Thornton Hill Zoo and it doesn't take... A half hour to load in it's it takes a relatively short amount of time but um but anyways yeah big shout out to all the zoo creators uh congrats on if you finish the zoo uh best of luck if you're still finishing a zoo and everything but yeah really really good stuff there from our zoo creators and everything so uh now after we load out of new zoo to you uh we'll be loading into the community showcase part to take a look at all the workshop items a lot of really good workshop items today a lot of good workshop items uh, also, we're going to look at the um, handful of mods. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mods, not counting the temperate reskin. Oh, cool. Oh, and I forgot we have a special one today, too. We have a, a website to look over. If you look in the description, you'll notice at the very bottom, there is a website that was recommended uh, called the Planet Zoo Modding Tier List Maker. And it's pretty cool. It's just a, it's one of those tier lists that you see on you know everywhere YouTube where, whatever. Uh, but it's for modded animals. Um, so uh, all right. Oh no, this is uh, this is well here. Here's new zoo to you. I did a little bit of work on it. So <laughs> but anyways, let's load into uh, the community showcase. That's what we meant to load into. Goodbye, new zoo to you. Hopefully, I'll get an episode of new zoo to you uh, out soon. That'll be an introduction episode essentially. I haven't done it a full on introduction episode but I, I haven't had much inspiration all week like i was mentioning earlier i'd uh i'd wake up real early for work do that for you know a work shift and i get home and it'd be um i'd just kind of be out of it not really into building or anything i've been playing games throughout the week i just haven't really been in the mood to build or i haven't been feeling very creative so i'm not going to try and force it or anything but i've been playing like hearts of iron 4 and rail uh railway empire and uh games like that like uh Games that aren't really creative, I guess. <laughs> you also make your real animal tier list. Yes, your real tier list. There you go. So make the real tier list and then make the modded tier list. Absolutely. All right. So we are loading on in. Loading on into the community zoo here. There we go. Feel that? Yeah, you know, you don't want to force creativity, right? I've done that before and you end up making shit. I'll just I'll just be honest, but we have to actually add a person up here. Uh, you end up making something that's not great. So yeah, you know I feel like gaming. It's just uh, not going to force myself to uh, be creative. We actually had a late submission that was totally fine to put in from Nicholas Lion Rider there, but 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 let's go ahead and look at some modern animals. And actually, the first one we're going to look at is going to be from Lion Rider because we have to go through and put it in. It's going to be the Orca. So it was a late submission from Lion Rider. Messaged me this morning. I was like, hey, mind if I submit the uh, Orca? I was like, that's not a problem. Because modded animals are no big deal to uh, add in. There it is. So let's take a look at that one first. So, from Lion Rider, and I believe Lion Rider only, we have the Orca that you can go ahead and put in with your dolphins or anything else if you're doing a sea parks. If you're making a sea parks, you can. Uh oh. Come on there, buddies. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. There they go. All right. So, there you are. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. The fact that it's like so big like that and everything, um, it'll it'll dive here. I know it has enough diving room. So, but there you go. You can go ahead and put in the orca whale for your sea parks or your aquariums or whatever else you're wanting to do there and everything. So, uh, really really good job from uh, Lion Rider. Is it just Lion Rider? Or was it Leaf too? Uh, you forgot to post his orcas in the showcase. Oh, way to go, Leaf. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, there you go from Lion Rider. Get the orcas. So this is the male. I'm pretty sure the female looks exactly the same yes yep it is there there we go cool so yeah big shout out to uh lion i forget that i know it's it's one of those things I, I read the entire reddit thread on it because i knew that people were gonna bring it up 
But I know that some people look at it like, oh my god, how could you put this in? A it's a video game, so just like it, get over it. It's a it, these are a bunch of pixels, a bunch of zeros and ones. Like it's don't download it if you don't want to put it in your thing. And <laughs> like I knew I wanted to mention something about it because I saw the little controversial Reddit thing. But that, that's my stance. If you don't like it, I don't download it. <laughs> there, problem solved for you. All right, next animal from Leaf. We have the Amazon River Dolphin. Look at this. I don't think I've ever heard of... Oh, now he's swimming. I was waiting for the thing to swim. Um, you did the code for the orcas. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Uh, but here we have the Amazon River Dolphin. And I think that this is so cool looking. I don't know that I've ever, like, seen one of these. Are they really, like, have a bright pink underbelly? Because this is so cool looking. And, like, the... What is that? The dorsal fin? It almost doesn't have, like, a dorsal fin. Um, but yeah, like the pink underbelly, the no dorsal fin, really unique looking dolphin there. And like the head is kind of concaved in. It's just kind of goofy looking. Dolphins, am I right? Check the fun facts for the bottlenose dolphin. We're not looking at the bottlenose dolphin this week though. I don't have one of those out. <laughs> We're looking at the, do you mean the Amazon dolphin? Cause we can do that. They can be fully pink. Oh, that's so cool. This is a Tuku Takuchi, and I'm gonna put out a real river dolphin later. Oh, okay, right on. So let's see, just in case. Fun fact, the Amazon river dolphin is a bad bitch. It don't need no man. <laughs> like other dolphins, river dolphins. I, I think that's good enough right there. Fun fact number one, the Amazon river dolphin is a bad bitch. You don't need no man, so. <laughs> um, oh, poo yeah, dude, we looked at the uh, dolphin, the bottom of those dolphin last week. <laughs> Were there any other good ones here? <laughs> Do some sounds. The diet of the Amazon River Dolphin is the most diverse of the toothed whales. It consists of at least 53 different uh, species of fish, groups of 19 families. Dang, they fat. These fun facts are always fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, wait, we can check it real easy. I forgot we have the thing there bottle and i have that installed the common bottlenose dolphin has a bigger brain than humans numerous investigations of the bottlenose dolphin intelligence includes tests of mimicry use of artificial language object categorization and self-recognition this was uh coded by leaf productions go sub to him on youtube and also sub to iron lamb Rider because he's cool as well there you go gotcha <laughs> there you go nice all right let's head over to the land animals now. So first up, let's see here. This one, what are you? The zebra duker. I don't know if that's how you pronounce them, but I really hope it is. So here's the zebra duker by Leaf and Sib CDC there. So this is really cool looking. This is the uh, female variant. I, I think it's in game. I think it's doing that texture thing on the animal. What? Why? Why is it? Anyway, I, I don't know if that's mod or in-game, if the game textures are just doing the thing that it's doing, but a little bit blurry for some reason. Uh, and then this is the male there. So cool. There's the zebra. Duka! Um, You had that the other day. Yeah, again, I don't want to say it's like the modding stuff, but... Or if it's that in-game texture thing going on or whatever, but that's that's kind of uh, different. It looks good, but yeah, just the kind of, um, it's not the mod. I don't think it looks like it's the other thing, right? It looks like the texture thing going on. Yeah, that's a bummer. So you can picture it with your head that it doesn't look like that. So <laughs> um, Alpine Ibex, Ibex, right? Ibex. The Alpine Ibex is up next there. And oh, did I not mention uh, the, yeah, Leaf and Sib DCDC. Uh, the, Alpine Ebix is from Narwhaler. So shout out to Narwhaler for uh, making this really beautiful mod there. And uh, yeah, this looks really good. This is obviously the male with its amazing uh, horns there, or not horns, right? Yeah, whatever. Um, but same thing, it's still doing that texture thing. I'm not sure why. Uh, here we have the female. Very cool. That's a really high quality mod. Do 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 do. You had some of these problems with the mods, yeah. And it looks good in your game. Yeah, and that, you know, that kind of goes back to um, Sawdust Vending Machine. 
mod that we installed. Remember, it looks really pixelated and bad in my game, but his game and other and others, um, it looks really good. So it's like it differs between people's games. And again, I'm running like on a really good graphics card, a really good system on Ultra, and it's coming out like this. Like that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, but anyways, the mod is good. The mods are good. So there you go. Um, let's go to the next one here. I know the ferret that we're totally one of the ferret. So big shout out. Oh my goodness. Big, big shout out to Leaf there for getting the black footed ferret into the game. I've been calling for smaller animals and more birds for a while now. And these smaller animals are definitely being taken care of. Uh, and this is, like, yeah, this is one of them there. So um, yeah, this is the black footed ferret from Leaf. And it looks really good. I can't wait to put these in uh, different uh, builds and stuff. These are these are uh, those kind of animals that we've really been needing. The little, um, the little B and C animals, right? Not always the big A animals, the A tier animals. Um, so yeah, I don't. Know, these, this is great. I can't wait to make little habitats there. So we should. Yeah, you just want to take my really really good PC that took me forever to pay off. Yeah, totally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's the female of it and here's the male again look pretty similar but little differences here and there do 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 yeah the weasel too there you go yeah now we see the mongoose <laughs> so there you go there's the there's the ferret awesome stuff from leaf awesome awesome stuff from leaf up next uh, i don't know how to pronounce this one at all so i'm gonna butcher it we have the pyrenean camos which looks like a some sort of goat. I'm actually gonna look up the wiki for this. This was made from by uh Whiskasour. 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 What are you? Is a caprine found in the mountain ranges of southwestern Europe, together with the Alpine Camios. Camios. They are the only members of the genius Rap Rupa Capra. The Chimios is a small bovid and more slender than the wild goat. Oh, goat! Okay, I was gonna say, I'm more confused after reading those first few sentences about what it is than I was before. But then the word goat went in there. I know what a goat is, so I got that. It's a goat that lives in Europe. Nailed it. So let's see, that is the male. That is the female, look pretty similar, but these are cool, so what a western goat. Looks really good from Whiskasar. Hey, Emma. How are you doing? Very nice. Let's see. What else do we have here? <clears throat> oh, yes. This is the one I was really excited to see. I haven't looked at it yet. There it is. Okay. So, from Leaf, we have... But there it is. The Marine Iguana Espinola Island from Leaf. And this is so good. This is what we've been needing in game for so long, or just like, again, basically the, what is, what's the exhibit? I don't know, there's some iguana that they have for an, ex an exhibit animal. Um, but yes, we need more like iguanas and other like little reptiles and stuff that we could put in our own habitats there. So, ah, oh, that's so good. I love it, love it, love it. Some more small animals. Caprines are goats, gotcha, T-I-L. T-I-L, so there is the male and here's the female. Oh, I wish the texture thing was not doing the thing. I don't even want to draw attention to it, but you know, it is what it is. But there you go. Yeah, I love this dude, right? They look great. They look really good. That's kind of a cool little bit that you can add to your zoos there. And, ooh, I think we went through the mobs already. I think we went through the mobs. We got the black footed ferret, the ibex. The iguana, the goat, the zebra duker. Oh yeah, we did. So yeah, a little bit, I don't want to say short on mods. There's still a good amount of mods there and amazing creators and everything. Look at the free willy go. <laughs> There's some really good mods there. It's just in comparison to, oh, beach dolphins. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, yeah, some really good high quality mods there to uh, put into your zoos, especially with the orcas and the dolphins there. That's that's really cool that we're starting to get there. Um, no, we've been live for almost two hours there, Martin. We started with the zoos first. Um, but yeah, and some really good land animals there. Some good uh, smaller animals as well. Love the smaller animals. More and more small animals. Um, I'll just be uh, more and more complete, basically. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, really good stuff there. 
from all of our amazing modders and always can't wait to see uh, what's going to be coming through the pipeline there next because uh, yeah, it's always amazing what the modders are uh, <clears throat> are accomplishing and everything. So cool. Awesome. Big shout out to the modders there. We'll do one last little fly through of all of our modders this week. Lion Rider, Sawdust, Leaf, Sib, CDC, Whisker Sour, and Narwhaler. Awesome stuff. Cool, let's go ahead and head to the last bit there. So this is gonna wrap up with our, oops, let me scroll up, with our workshop items. So let's start with some stuff that you might be familiar with, you've been hanging out. These are the Hobbiton stuff from Christina. So I was kind of pointing it out during our Hobbiton tour. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, Christina went ahead and made a lot of those build items um, kind of standalone. They are standalone there, so if you want to put that bridge in, you want to put that water wheel in. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, Whisker Sour and Narwhal are the same person. Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha. They have two accounts on Nexus then that they are uploading things to, I believe. Because <laughs> all I look at when, I look, when I'm putting these in is I look at the creator. Um, so yeah, let's look at the creator name. <clears throat> so yeah, whatever they have on there is what I put in. Uh, but yeah, these are really cool. I love, especially love this bridge. This bridge is really cool. So yeah, big shout out to Christina for uh, Hobbiton uh, overall and, you know, just for the extra items there and everything. So cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one there. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, thank you, uh, Silverfox, for doing that. Yeah, remember to endorse all mods that you use and enjoy. Yes, endorsing is the same thing as liking on Steam. The only kind of bad thing about endorsing on Nexus is that you have to wait 15 minutes before you can go back and um, endorse, essentially. So, you know, I, what I usually do is I'll go, whenever I'm going to read do or download a new mod, I'll go back through the old mods that I just downloaded before and try and endorse them that way it's really inefficient and it's a really stupid system that they should get rid of but you know it is what it is so just try and remember to go back and endorse 15 minutes later um if you can for the uh, modders there but anyways uh up next from mr vanderpants i love that name mr vanderpants we have the modular rope climbing frame <clears throat> so this is really cool you can definitely get a lot of cool uses out of this there so you have full windows house window uh, another house window i like how they labeled everything there you know tall house so yeah here you go the modular rope climbing frame uh, for different animals and stuff like that inside of your zoo so if you ever have problems making modular climbing structures there you go there you go <laughs> decorative windows yeah this is really cool so yeah, big shout out to Mr. Vanderpants for uh, uploading that there. Up next from Sawdust. So Sawdust uh, has a few different things here. So we have, doo -doo -doo. first thing is the Harbor Scenery Pack. And this is actually going to look familiar from this, these three things here. These are the Harbor Scenery Pack. These look familiar from the Myrtle Beach uh, Aquatic Center from Sawdust there. So yeah, we have the Lobster Cage, a uh, nice anchor. And uh, I almost said this was a telephone booth. <laughs> no, it is not a British telephone booth. <laughs> but we have the buoy. <laughs> I'm way off. Uh, next to it, looks like we have, it almost looks like a Tonka truck. That's awesome. Uh, but what, what's the truck called here? It is called, uh oh, where is it? There it is, the bucket truck. So you can see the little bucket arm extender go up into uh, there. And the last one, uh, so same thing as we were mentioning before, I don't think the file names are the same inside the user media file because the um, images haven't automatically populated. Um, so that's how you know if you've uploaded them correctly is the images will kind of automatically populate uh, for someone else there. But this is still a cool idea. This is a face painting, uh, art, face painting slash art set from Sawdust uh, there. So if you want to set up a little yeah, face painting area, uh, in your zoos you can kind of set that up maybe um download a uh like a face paint thing to put in for your billboards there so yeah there you go from sawdust three separate items and yeah looking really good there hey jake what's happening there buddy next up jay Rassic. this is almost the jay Rassic show this this week there everyone <laughs> jay Rassic has uh the creativity bug in their system they they're building something right now and they're uh giving us a bunch of different things from the build there so um but cool let's go ahead and start off there from jay rassic one of many items uh first item commercial furnace that's what this is yeah this is gonna be the commercial furnace from jay rassic there looks really cool uh really cool backstage item to kind of throw in there 
awesome stuff. Couple details there. Good stuff. Cool. Next set from Jurassic is the fire pits. So yeah, if you've ever needed some fire pits there, turn the furnace around. Oh, I just go like that? Oh, it's supposed to be that way? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. It's supposed to be that way, I guess. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, but up next, we have the fire pits. A bunch of different stylized fire pits. Using all the different themes. So cool if you need some uh, need a fire pit to use. J. Rassic has you covered. Next up, different umbrellas there. Let's see, so it's this. This is the heating one, right? Yeah, so there's two of them here. There's one that is... Yeah, sunshade with AC and heater. I believe that is this one. And then another sunshade with lighting. And that's going to be this one here. And I know people are going to uh, want to wanna see it, so I'll go and bust it out there. You always get some people requesting a Frank. So here's your Frank test. This looks like I kind of... I lowered that one a little bit too far. There you go. Nice. So yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. Uh, and these kind of go well with the... I think there's a... Yeah, remember the Brawly set that we used a lot uh, from uh, beforehand and different zoos and stuff? Uh, yeah, these all kind of go really well together. So uh, with J-Rastic set and the Brawly uh, Shades by Endall, you can kind of use all of those uh, together. They're really nice. So good stuff there from uh, J-Rastic. Look at this nighttime real quick so you can see it. There go. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like how the fire's like, yes, I'm here. <laughs> Awesome. And up next we have the ceiling, right? Ceiling truss. I can see the name over here. Ceiling truss with lighting and speakers. So there you go. You put this up in your ceiling set there. A bunch of speakers and all that. That's awesome. Have our staff oldy entrance. And again, I know people are gonna wanna see it, so let's get our get the Frank on over here. There you go. Pretty good size there. Stop busting out my little Frank. Sorry, sorry, I'll put the little Frank away and get the big Frank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there is the uh, secured staff entrance from J Rassic. The Lied Jungle mini exhibit this is really cool i love these little exhibits here you're able to fit in the uh get a little behind the scenes yeah little terrariums and everything so cool looking and then the last thing which i know jurassic has been really excited to show off and they should be here is the indonesian wall builders pack so if you are doing a c pack or a c build or an indonesian build or anything and not really sure where to start well hey guess what Jurassic has you covered there, my friends. These are all, um, you know, just pick them up and move them around modular wall sets there. So you can just kind of move them all around, use them wherever you need to. But really, oh, excuse me, really cool set here. And yeah, don't forget, Jurassic has been doing a few different sets um, with this. What was it last week? Oh man, my memory's so bad. I've had a I've had a long first week of work. Um, but yeah, last week uh, Jay Rask did a different set as well. So I think that that's what they're doing. They're going through a lot of different themes and doing a bunch of different cool, uh, different yeah themed sets. There, let's look at, look at it uh, kind of all put together there. There's a Frank. <laughs> Here's it all put together. Here's some of the fire pits and everything. But look at how, how it can look when you put it all together. Africa. Well, thank you. Yes, Africa. Yep. Yep. That's what it was, absolutely. This looks really cool all put together. So there, hopefully that gets your uh, inspiration gears going, your creativity gears going, and if it does, definitely get the Indonesian Wall Builders pack from Jay Rassic there, because uh, you can make some amazing looking things. Look, they even got the dome. I know so many people have um, problems with domes and stuff. There you go, you're all covered there. So yeah, really good stuff there from uh, Jay Rassic. And again, it looks like Jay Rassic is either working on a project or they're just getting the, uh, you know, <laughs> they, uh, or they're just getting the inspiration bug once in every uh, a while. So yeah, really good stuff there from Jay uh, Rassic. There, look inside the domes. All right, look inside the domes. <clears throat> Looking inside the domes. What's that? There you go, we've got some columns and stuff in there. Heck yeah. Little uh, pieces of art and everything. Nice, so yeah, everything's all done up for y'all. So cool, yeah, good stuff there from uh, 
Mr. J. Rassic. The classic J. Rassic. <laughs> He's a classic. Up next! Ah, yes, from DH Roof 17, forward at five there. So we have in the uh, the dinosaur, the Mimosaur, dinosaur, dinoramas there. They have the Allosaur this week. So the Allosaur looks like a big, bad dinosaur that doesn't take nothing from nobody. So there you go. Go ahead and add that into your, uh, your dinorama collections there. And the... Uh, Next one from uh, from Seth is going to be, uh, what'd you call this? The Flexicolor Fences. So uh, yeah, looks like they've, what'd you do here? Oh, okay, yeah, so you use the, um, the Temple Painted Stone Supports. There you go, and made out some fences there for everyone. So, and these are all Flexicolors as well, so you can come in here and tone them a little bit, so nice, easy to use. Good stuff, and then, yeah, some other fun little Fences there, some rope fences, a little bit of tree trunk fencing going on. There you go. Everyone always needs some more fences, right? <laughs> always needs some more fences, so. Cool, good stuff there from Seth. All right, from ZZ. Uh, ZZ has, uh, this is part of a, another pack that's coming out. I think next week they said they're gonna have a foliage pack coming out, uh, but this is the modern building pack from ZZ. So yeah, we uh, look at this for now, but again, we're gonna have a foliage pack. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm so stuffed up. <laughs> uh, here's the modern building pack uh, to start off with, and then um, next week we'll hopefully get a foliage pack there. So yeah, get some really cool uh, building packs from people there, whether it's rope climbing packs, uh, modern building packs, Indonesian building pack, uh, really cool, uh, yeah, full on building packs for everyone to uh, use there. So there you go, cool, modern building pack. I like the idea of the tree. Yeah, it's kind of cool combining the tree trunk uh, with the fence and everything. Yeah, yep. Cool, and then uh, last on up here to finish it all out is going to be, um, someone submitted this. I think it was Dr. Rizzo, or I think that's their name. Apologies if I uh, uh, said that wrong. But yeah, they submitted their friend's build here. This is Cool Epic Now 2, number two, by Buster Billy. Um, so I'm gonna fix this up just a little bit, but just so you know, this is how the this is how it gets uploaded essentially. This is how when you place it down, how it, I'm not sure why the water didn't save. I know I've had that problem in the past with my builds, um, so you just need to kind of come in here and bloop, put the water back in, and then you get your everything kind of going up. They also said that the you know as a lot of us know the pathing path didn't get saved. Not sure how the pathing's path supposed to go, but I guess you can, can um, deduce that pathing path kind of goes out here. Um, but yeah, this is a nice um, aquatic. Uh, habitat there. Probably put some seals, maybe some penguins or something like that. But yeah, so there you go. So this is Cool Epic Now and then the number two by Buster Billy. Uh, there you can plop into your uh, zoo. So there you go to kind of round out. Is that it? Oh, that's it. <laughs> I didn't realize we're at the end of it. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, there you go. That rounds out the uh, the workshop item of it, uh, portion of it there. So it's so funny because I, I even mentioned earlier how uh, there's so many workshop items. And there's so many of them and this, that, and the other thing. But most of them were from Jurassic and I think Sawdust. Like they encompassed like um, a good portion of them there. So it looks like a lot, but yeah, again, a lot of them are encompassed into like one, uh, one item there so yeah big shout out there to uh orca habit oh there you go we gotta put the orcas in there um but yeah uh big shout out to all the workshop uh creators there getting some really cool things there again uh, some really cool indonesian um items new brawlies um some really useful fire pits backstage items from uh jurassic jurassic coming in hot <laughs> coming in hot there so um, but yeah, no, really cool stuff there. More modular rope climbing stuff, some kind of more whimsical uh, builds from Christina. Love the Hobbiton build from Christina. Yeah, just again, big shout out to Christina for completing that. That's such a cool idea uh, overall. So, uh, and yeah, the building packs, you know, um, really, really like the building packs. You always see people uh, ask, you know, how do you build that or how do you get um, something to look like that? Well, now you don't have to uh, <clears throat> wonder. You can just download building packs and just start putting together your own kind of things there. So, phew, cool. <laughs> cool, it's a little bit longer, uh, longer stream this week, wasn't it? That's okay. 
That just means we had a lot of cool stuff to look at. Oh, dang it, I was trying not to do that. Um, so hey, if this is your first time hanging out with us, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Also join the Discord if you do have some fun stuff to um, submit. Oh, we're always taking new mods, we're also uh, taking foliage, we're taking zoos, we're taking, you know, whatever. You know, as you saw today, we take a little bit of everything there. So join the Discord, um, and then we'll be able to, um, yeah, look at your workshop item or whatever every single week on a Saturday there. So, hey, thanks so much Evan, for hanging out. I do appreciate the heck out of y'all. Um, I'll try and go live again this week with some Planet Zoo or something else, just or just overall go live when it's not a community showcase, but no promises. Uh, I'm starting kind of the nitty gritty of my new job. Uh, so that's like really like hands-on uh, training, getting up at like five or no, four o'clock in the morning, essentially to kind of start doing that. So I'm probably going to be really out of it still this week and not really fully in a creativity type mood. Um, so don't fully expect a stream, but I will um, update you on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, you know, all the uh, updated social media links. I'll definitely update y'all when I am going to go live. So, um, but yeah, hey, thanks so much everyone for hanging out. I always do appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next live stream or the next video there. So hey, thanks everyone. See ya.